Once you grasp this truth that I'm about to tell you, it'll set you free from religion. It'll set you free from parents and moms and family and governments and police, everybody. It'll set you free. And it's simply this. You are divine. God has exploded in a crab nebulae explosion and he has come and manifested himself as billions of people. And you're one of you, and so am I. When I look at you, I see God. When you look at me, you see God. That's why God's name is I am. I am God. That doesn't mean that me, God, it means I am. When you say I am God, you have to say what is God's name? I am. What? I am God. Oh my God, then all the people's Christians run around. Oh, I told you they think they're God. I don't think anything of the other side. No, Jesus Christ said. The scripture says you are God, and the scripture cannot be broken. So he said it. Don't yeah, yeah, I'm like a master of Peace, 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 family. How you all doing? My name is Keisha. I'm the owner of Ascendant Astrology, and I am your astrology coach. Today, I'm going to be continuing my Moon Through the Signs series with Moon and Capricorn. So the moon represents your mind, your emotions, the way you think, how you behave, how you respond to situations, your emotional fulfillment, home security, your roots, um, your family, your mother, your bloodline, where you come from. It's the uh, patterns that we learn through the subconscious mind that we carry on into our adult life. And this can affect how we express our emotions and how we connect in our relationships. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Um, this is a big deal because you have the Saturn returns and these can be pretty difficult. This is a really difficult uh, moon to have, especially for women. I think it's more suited, better suited for men. But um, Saturn is uh, restrictions. It can be very dry, um, hard lessons. Um, it rules time or things that happen over a long period of time. Um, organization, structures, systems, goals, like goal boards, itineraries, history, etiquette. Capricorn is very papa, papa. <laughs> I often think that uh, London is... Um, their country is a, they must be like a Capricorn rising, but uh, anyway, <laughs> it was a random thought. Um, Capricorn rules status, uh, your career, bosses, fathers, authority figures, or the dominant parent in your life, whoever that was, um, the elderly, responsibility, and uh, maturity. And these people tend to feel burdened by responsibility. Um, it's heavy. Uh, they can be very serious. They don't really joke around much. Uh, they'd rather be working um, and building their status and uh, working on their goals, uh, which is why they end up being very, very successful people. Uh, these people can be the bosses that are kind of rude. Um, and most of the time, people are scared of them. Uh, because they are so serious. Um, I often think of like uh, resting bitch face when I think of Capricorn energy because you can never really tell if they're joking or they're serious. They got like um, uh, po good poker faces. That's the word I was really looking for. <laughs> um, um these people choose their goals very, very carefully. Um, and they want to be in manager positions or positions of power. They're very frugal. They're good with money. These people tend to have really um, good assets or property. Um, or they'll want very traditional relationships and lifestyles. Um, or they'll want somebody who's a homemaker, somebody who can relieve them of the stress that comes with working so hard. Um, and so their mom could have been uh, hardcore organizers uh, or a person of status. 
Uh, they might have wanted them to to live that whole, you know, traditional life, you know, go to school, get married, have kids, uh, specifically get married to a wealthy man. <laughs> and uh, they wanted the same, you know, they wanted you to do, they probably, your mom probably did this, but wanted the same for you. Um, the relationship with your mom could have been really dry you know, um, dull and distant. Um, the, these Capricorn moon people could have received the least amount of love from their mom. Um, she might have lacked the ability to really nurture. Um, she might have worked through her pregnancy and passed that on to you. Um, Capricorn moon people don't like sitting still. Uh, they start to feel unaccomplished. Um, so like setting goals and things like that um, are very important to these people, but at the same time, they can also lead to depression. These people can be emotionless and cold. Um, I don't think that that's really true. Um, I feel like it can feel that way. Uh, I actually think these are some of the most caring people in the world. Maybe it's because my Capricorn is in the fourth house. Uh, I have a fourth house Capricorn and myself node is there. And um, I'm just like a no nonsense kind of person. I definitely was a stricter parent growing up, but I've grown and evolved from that. Um, that was just something that I had to understand for myself. Um, but I actually think these are some of the best parents to have in a world like such because um, without tradition or culture or um, having goals and things, it's super, super easy to fall apart um, when you don't have that kind of support or somebody who's like a sounding board in your life, um, somebody who gives you skills to resolve problems and things of that nature. I think that a lot of people um, when we do the astrology for Capricorn energy in general, it's a, it's it's um you know it can be uh, seen as a very derogatory way. Although some and for some, you know, those things are very true too. You know, but um, I think it's more or less you really have to get to know these people. Um, in order to, and don't just judge them by the astrology. But uh, anyway, um, these people might fear rejection or be very controlling or like controlled environments uh, or traditional environments or something that's repetitive. It creates safety and security for them. Uh, and this is how you master skills, by the way. Capricorn or Saturn really rules the ability to master your skills. And you can only do that by something you do over and over and over again, um, which, which is why Capricorn tends to be um, hard lessons like that uh, because there's no discipline. That's That shows a lack of discipline and um, um, the lack to stick to something until it's fruition, until it's complete, until it's done. Um, which is another reason why I think these are the best parents to have. That's just my personal opinion. But um, again, if you're somebody who's super strict and mean, nobody learns in an environment like that. But, um, and there are some, you know, some uh, Capricorn parents that are like that, right? That, that, that That's going to resonate with some people, but I don't think it's uh, for everybody. I don't think it's relative to everyone. But um, but they're very controlling because emotions weren't always validated as a young child. You know, this might have been somebody who was told to, you know, you got to have responsibilities and there's routines in the house. Like your parents had expectations of you. And so you again, you didn't get the love and the nurture and the kiss or the pat on the head when something happened or something came up. You were given solutions and that's how you fix problems. And so emotionally, when something comes up, you're not going to be the person who gives that person a hug and says, oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. You might be somebody who starts spewing out, well, you could do this, 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 and that to resolve that problem, right? 
right? Um, and that's where they have, that's where their emotional fulfillment comes in to have the ability to do that. Um, and so this could be a very lonely, depressing sign. Um, but these people might play the piano or revel in the fact that they have a, a home that is controlled or that it's their, their, their um, sacred place where everything is in order and in order is everything. <laughs> You know, uh, these people might have like a lot of history books and um, things that you can learn in sections. Like I always think of like those homes. This is why I, maybe I feel like uh, Capricorn is very um, London-esque, right? Because when I think of London or all the movies anyways that we see from London, their homes are always very like uh, hard wood and high ceilings and um you know, you have the, the bookcases and shelves and rooms that are very, 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 very specific and very, very, very set to a T. Even might they might even be like uh, set up to the extent of like uh, uh, kind of like um, the way Benjamin Banneker set up the city of Washington. You know, that that room there is very specific for something. And it'll look like whatever that specific thing is. Like if it's a library, it looks like a library. Um, you know, if it's an office space, it looks like an office space. You know, uh, very etiquette here, very proper. Um, things are put in a place where it's very um, matches whatever that theme is for that room, if you will. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> And so they might have had chores and, and things like that, that, that when they grow up, this is why they are the way they are. And again, although that might seem to me or to everybody else, like that's a strict parent um, and there's no really, there's a lack of nurturing there. I still think these are very important skills that you need to have um, growing up as a child, uh, because without them, you don't work. Uh, on the lower expression of Capricorn, this can be somebody who grows up in poverty, right? And so there's no real stability in the home. And when you don't have real stability in the home and you're trying to make it in the world, there's always going to be some kind of um, lack of responsibility, lack of um, being able to be a team player or work on a team or work for anybody because, you know, where's the, you know, there's no discipline there. There's no structure. Um, they might have not really had um, all the essentials needed in their home to um, to learn those types of skills. And so when they grow up, these people are not bosses. Uh, they might be have jobs that are very off and on or um, stagnant or, you know, things of that nature. Um and so um, because of that, you know, these people really do struggle with connecting emotionally. Um, they usually tend to be, um, I did say that lonely. They might even like play the piano or do something very elegant in that way. Um, um, their family could have had, a, again, a heavy financial burden um where maybe perhaps for one reason whatever reason or another you know you knew what your parents financial situation was and again you wanted to come up with solutions and so you could be a young entrepreneur this is definitely the energy of the lemonade stand I don't care what anybody says where you're out there selling shoes selling lemonade selling whatever you can um, if there's some kind of talent you had, you know, you're getting people to pay for that, to bring in income, you know, um, this can also be thief, you know, uh, somebody who's a thief, <laughs> just saying, uh, mostly because, um, you know, Saturn also rules Aquarius. So you do got to look at Sat uh, Aquarius energy here and, and Aquarius is, ruled by Uranus, which is the higher octave of Mercury. And so, um, 
you know, these are copycats or people with sticky fingers, right? Um, they're really good fucking thieves. <laughs> Uh, like I th I always think of Denzel and how he plays these gangster roles, right? Where they become like, you know, very prominent people in the streets because they learn the streets very quickly. And mostly it's because they have this kind of discipline or structure. You know, they listen to their elders. Um, I'm really thinking of that dynamic of American gangster with with uh Denzel Washington. That can be um very Capricorn. Um, energy, right? And not just because Denzel is a Capricorn, but literally somebody who works underneath somebody or somebody takes them underneath their wing um, with that whole idea of how gangs and stuff are function and ran, you know, uh, they, they do well in this because they're getting the love and the nurturing that they didn't get from home. And they take that and they excel with that energy because that's all they really wanted anyways um um this could also be a daddy's girl just gonna keep it 100 again uh like I, I think I mentioned in the moon and Sagittarius video both parents could really be super supportive and so with this with the moon and Capricorn your relationship with your mom may have been dry but she was probably most likely a daddy's girl or got along better with your dad as a woman. Um, or, um, yeah. And so this does better in a, in a male's chart because this is the typical traditional uh, energy of what marriage should look like, or at least what it did in like the 50s and stuff like that with a woman. You know, she bared the children, she stayed home, she took care of the home and the man went to work and bring home the money and all that stuff. This is what Capricorns want, especially Capricorn men. Um, they are going to look for a woman who is pretty much a housewife, right? Um, um, I think for women, unfortunately, you might come off as a little bit more distant uh, you might attract friends who are always going through ups and downs, and you're the one who has to come up with the solutions. Um, you know, they're not going to be the person, who, again, to sit there and give you a hug. They're not good huggers. Um, although I tend to think of uh, Capricorns as soul food. But again, maybe that's because my self note is in Capricorn, so I have a different kind of connection. But also a Gemini, and I think we get along. We'll find reasons to get along with anybody, but <laughs> um, but um, yeah, that's just my personal opinion. I think they're very warm-hearted people. I really do. Uh, but I also appreciate discipline too. So, um, these people are not really good with physical touch. Um, and if you're and if you go to a Capricorn's house. You know, it might not be the typical girl talk kind of stuff or anything like that. These people are like, don't overcome your welcome and don't expect to be fed every time you come here. Like they might put something together again because Capricorns love etiquette. Like if they were to have company and they had like a dish set or like some kind of silverware, this is perfect time for them to be able to use that, right? <laughs> right. And so, you know, for that purpose and that reason they love having company they can even come off as a little bit of a show off especially if it's somebody who does have a really nice house and they're fortunate to have their own property and assets and things like that um, they would they might even have a little bit like parties and things like that so it's not that they're all always serious and you know whatever but um again it's it might be a little selfish and, and for, the, for for them more than it is for anybody else. But, but um, you know, overall Capricorn energy is like, you know, don't think you're going to be coming over here all the time. And every time you come here, you're going to get that same treatment because that's not a real thing. Um, they could be Capricorn moon people in general can be strict parents and give their parent their kids structures and routines because that's their emotional fulfillment. That's what makes them feel secure. Um, 
and they they might be a little social distance like um you know if they do have friends again it's not an all the time thing you know it's when they get ready and when they have the time for it um and they'll plan for it you know um and so they might not always gen share what they're going through with their friends and things of that nature. Um, another thing with Capricorn moon people is uh, fertility because moon rules, you know, children and, you know, being a mother. You might have issues having kids or there's delays or you'll wait till you're financially stable before you have kids. And so again, uh, Capricorn, because it's ruled by Saturn, is always something that happens over time or when you're older. Um, and that, again, that's not for everybody, but it could be a thing. It really does depend on where, what's aspecting your moon and what, what house it's in that makes all the difference to this. But yeah, man. So that's my video for Moon and Capricorn. As always, I love and appreciate you. I hope you found this information helpful. Peace.